Want to see a fun game? Want to see a fun game? Watch. They make a big crunch. Hello, hello everybody. Today we have some European hornets that have eaten through drywall. These are the very large ones from that were the same from that El Camino video that we did last year. So these guys in nature typically build in the hollow trunks of trees, but whenever they're coming into someone's living area, they'll build in your walls. And they build pretty large nests, and when they run out of room, they will eat the drywall in order to expand their nest. So that's what they did here. They made it through this drywall, so we put the cardboard up, so that way they uh, won't come pouring in. So what we're going to do first, we're going to open up this cardboard, blow the powder into their nest, and then cover it back over to give the nest a few minutes to die off a little bit. We'll take that chance to set up our other equipment for taking them out of the wall. And then we're going to pull the whole nest out of the wall. Enjoy. So I have at it, Mike. And this is Mike. He's our the technician that I hired this year. You've probably seen him in a few of our other videos already. Pull on it. it looks like we got that duct taped to the wall. Yep. Yeah, your did you? I did not, but I do have my Swiss Army knife here. There you go. That is a sure way to get in the emergency room. Or a grave. Okay, so first we're peeling back the duct tape to pull the cardboard off the wall. They have probably finished eating through the drywall. You can set the duster down while you're doing that if you want. So you'll probably see a few of them pop out here. There will probably be a hole already in this wall. Watch, as soon as I make this prediction, they're going to make a fool out of me. What was that? Oh, the knife. Okay. Oh, you see the hole? No, I don't see the hole. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's go inspect. Do you feel a soft wall anywhere? Not really. Uh. Right there. There it is. Yep. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to poke our duster right through that hole. You can see... I don't know if the camera's picking it up, if you can see us actually moving the wall. No, the camera's not really catching that, but we're going to poke the duster through the hole and blow the powder in, then close her back up. And we use an exacto side duster because it has very little dust that it puts off. Turn your pressure up. Here, and stick the nozzle in there further. Yeah, really get it in. Okay, that should be enough to get them started. Okay, let's close this back up. All right, I put the tape on the table behind you. I'm gonna hold this closed while you tape her up. Here, listen to that. That is the sound of them in distress. They got this dust on them. The dust affects their nervous system, so they will, you can hear them actually flapping their wings. Um, it kind of makes them fly funny, walk funny, stuff like that. So that sound is them in distress being affected by the powder. And as very large creatures, they make a lot of sound. That should be enough tape. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get our equipment set up, and we will be right back. Okay, we are back. Back. 
we have everything set up. We have a vacuum, a squirt bottle with dish soap in it. So actually that will kill any bee that comes into your house. Just take a squirt bottle, fill it a couple inches with dish soap, fill it the rest of the way with water. We have our jab saw in case we have to cut any of the drywall. Have our tape for cleaning up and a garbage bag and our hive tool. That way if we have to dig or anything like that. So, as you can hear, they have already calmed down quite a bit. So that means a lot of them have died off. So now it is much safer for us to go ahead and go in there and cut them out of the wall. So Mike is going to reopen this up and that area where I said the wall was soft, he will now pull that area open. So these ruin that drywall whenever they eat through it. So even though it still looks solid from the front, it's actually hollowed out quite a bit on the inside. Here we go. So as you can see, that's pretty good size. What'd you get? You're just playing for the camera in there. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. Okay, and here we have a European Hornet that has already escaped. That is what they look like. The reason we have the vacuum is because you always get a few of them that escape. And you have to uh, vacuum them up. Soapy water will kill them as well. Once he gets that open, we will resume this video. Okay, so, okay, so Mike is now going to cut a little bit of the wall away. That way he can get access to the rest of the nest. So you can see they stack quite a few layers of comb on top of each other. Yeah, if you're solid, yeah, you're up against the stud. So just start pulling in and start pulling them out. Oh, see the top of the fell? Yeah. Okay, so get to come out and see some of the larvae. As you pull them out, show them to the camera. Here, let's see that one. They are very large nests. Just got this guy crawling on me. He's trying to sting me. Trying being the key word there. But you can see these are already being affected by the powder. So they're having a hard time. Look at those larvae, how big they are. That's... This is my hand for reference. So that larvae is wider than my index finger. And that is about the length of my index finger to my first knuckle. They are just truly massive in everything. Do you see anything up there? So the reason we leave lights off is because they always fly towards light. So we like to have them collect on the windows. That way we can go in and just capture them. And this is Mike's first time with European Hornets here. So his blood's probably rushing right now. Yeah, they're a little bit bigger than I expected. Yeah. Not to, not to make embarrass them on camera here, but these are intimidating the first time you try them. I was very scared my first time. Of course, my first time I didn't think to put the powder in first, so I just had them all coming out at me. On a full fury. What's interesting about these, and also bald-faced hornets, when they fly at you, they'll hit your veil. And you can tell they're trying to sting you because you'll actually feel the venom hit your face. And if you're not wearing protective eyewear, it'll actually get in your eye. It hurts really bad. It feels like you got stung in the eye.
And European hornets are like any other bees where the males are larger than the females. Call them drones. They don't actually do any work for the colony. Their only job is to fertilize queens, which is a pretty good life for a bee. But those are really the big ones. So as you can see, Mike is going elbow to the tip of his fingers on this. That's how long this nest is. So that's probably a good 24 inches right there, at least, and we're still going. So we're, we could get up to about 30 inches on the length of this nest and the height of it. So like I said, they only eat through the drywall once they run out of room, so you don't ever get small nests doing this. They're always big. Sometimes yellow jackets will get on the underside of insulation. And so you can get a smaller nest cut through the drywall in that case. Here, let's see that one. We also have a live stream. The homeowner has a page of their own. They like to live stream these things. So I'm trying to share these videos of the nest with them. That is a big nest. It's still going. Yeah, I think How much do you want to bet that goes all the way to the ceiling? I think I hit insulation. Oh, you hit insulation? Okay. I think so. Yeah, feels like it. Okay, so that's about another three or four inches up there. So I would say, I mean, that's got to be what? Let's see, this hive tool is what, 12 inches? It's a 12 inch hive tool. Yep. So it started about there. That's close to three feet. That is close to three feet. I'd say we're about 30 inches in height on this nest, at least 30 inches. See them all collecting on the window now. We're going to vacuum those off the window here in a second. We try to get it empty. Now that we got the nest out of there, this takes any eggs out, so that way if you do get any stragglers that survive, um, if they go in, well for one we leave dust in there, so they'll get into the dust and that takes care of them. But if for some reason they were like resistant to the dust or something, they wouldn't have any way to raise a new queen without any eggs in there and they wouldn't have any way to procreate because uh, females, if they're not fertilized, they can't lay female eggs and all they can lay are males and like I said, the males don't do any work. What are you poking into there? Looks like um, plywood. So have they eaten into the plywood at all? Looks like it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's so the... not only do they eat inside, they also eat outside. And you can see a little bit of nest. Is that a little bit no, of nest No, that's the there? brick of the chimney. I oh, think. that's the brick of the chimney. So that's how they were getting in. Yep. That might just be how they were getting in. That's like completely see that's oh, okay. Super okay, so they've eaten through that wood too. And you know, it's not like they just eat through one side. You know, they eat all the way all the way around. So they'll be working on that outside wall too. So that shows how destructive these are. Yeah, I think that's all of it. Okay, well let's get uh, some dust in the hole in the cavity, and then we'll cover her back over. dusting so we have replaced the cardboard we are now going to tape it back onto the wall at any given time you get a you know, good portion of the nest is out getting food so taking the nest out of the wall isn't going to kill those you have to leave that dust in there for them to get into and you put the cardboard back over the hole that way they don't come inside when they return And you have to get a pretty good seal because they will find even you know just a couple millimeters is all they need. These are very large bees, but you'd be surprised how small they can make their bodies. We 
won't tell him about that one that was on his back. Okay, get the vacuum fired up. I'm gonna get some bigger pieces. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's see how big this bag is. This was empty when we started. There we go, that's a good sized nest. I did not use a grocery bag this time for the people who watch my European Hornet videos. I could have, just to make a point. Big enough, it got stuck in the entrance. Look how big that one is that he just sucked up. That was a drone. on the video, but out on the chimney there's one falling around being affected by the power. I can't really see it. Alright, there's one up here, Mike. I'm in here. Hey, Mike. That's why I wear ankle straps. Get it? Okay, gotta get the larvae off the ground and then we're done. Take your, take your adapter off of it, just go straight hose. You're jammed up. Turn it off. Okay, well we just got a few more things to clean up here, but that'll be kind of boring for you, so we'll end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. What'd you think, Mike? How'd you like your first European Hornet removal? Fun. Yes, fun. That's what we call it. Please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, watch all our videos.